Hey there guys, and welcome to another little talk thing video. <laughs> I still don't know what to call these, so it's just me talking about random stuff, and today I'm going to be talking about one of my favorite anime ever. I am a huge anime fan. There's a lot of anime that I really like, and I'm re I've recently started getting into mangas. You know, I, I, I want to read more manga. That's something that's just starting, I guess. But today I want to talk about Yawamushi Petal. Yawamushi Petal is just so amazing. I first started watching this when it first came out. The anime did. Uh, don't know how early the manga is. Uh, let's see if I can find the year on this. I have the wiki page open just so that I can refresh myself on stuff. Let's see, it began its serialization in 2008, so that's that's crazy stuff, but the anime came out like in 2014, I think. Uh, 2013. Yeah, late 2013, in October. And I've, I've been in love with it ever since. And it's, it's crazy because I never would have thought that I would like a sport anime. I never thought that that was actually... A genre that's actually really good, and it is. It is amazing. The the sport genre. Um, I've seen Yamamushi Pedal. I, I watched some of uh, Kuroko no Basket, and I, I I've seen like I've seen clips of like Initial D and stuff, and uh, and Hajime no Ippo. Um, the boxing one. I think that's how you say it. I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, that's. I mean, just the success that sports and anime actually has it's it's pretty crazy i've also seen um this racing one called uh which really caught me off guard it blew me away i didn't think how i didn't think i would like it it's called uh what's it called jeez i can't think of the name right now i feel bad because <laughs> it's, it's it's uh it's like six parts um dude what are you called it's gonna bug me if i don't know it um, but it's, it's the six part anime that it's like six episodes and they have cars that, that are from the future and, oh my God, I cannot think of the name and that's all that's bothering me. I can't even tell you how good it is, but here I can find out right away. It's got like a really basic name too. Let me see. X driver, <laughs> there you go. X driver. It was actually the. It was actually made by like the art was made. You know the character designs and stuff was the guy who works on the Tales game, uh, Kosuke Fujishima, I believe. I think he actually. I think he's the one who actually did the. I think he's the one actually created X driver. Let me see. Let's see this. This is bothering me. Sorry. <laughs> I don't know why, but it's bothering me. <laughs> yeah, it's designed by Kosuke Fujishima. So, it's the anime. And it's spanned only six episodes. But I love the way the cars look. And, I don't know, just the characters were pretty cool. And, yeah. But anyway, that's not what I want to talk about. <laughs> I just wanted to talk about how how underrated the sport genre and anime really is. It's it's really good. But Yaomushi Pedal just it's it's crazy how amazing this show is. And like when I first watched it, I was just blown away by how amazing it is. So, you know, it's about this kid. His name is Onoda. Onoda Sakamichi. He is just entering high school and doesn't have any friends, you know. And um, all he wants to do is talk about anime and stuff. He just wants to, he's an otaku, you know. He just wants to talk about all this nerdy stuff with people. He just wants to share his love with other with other kids. It starts off with him trying to establish like a club, an anime club, so he can have people come in and talk about stuff that he likes. And 
it wasn't it wasn't successful, right? But here's the thing: how do how do the bicycles come in place in order to like satisfy his desire to you know get into anime and to be an otaku to to get all, into all this nerdy stuff? He he would ride his bike every day after school or not every day in the summer to go see to go to Akihabara. He would. Uh, you know, buy stuff and, and you know, watch his anime and he he'll get like his, his 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 figurines and stuff, and he was so into it, right? But little did he know that that bike trip to Akihabara in the summer it was actually good, like exercise. It was good practice, and on top of that, it was just a regular old what they call a mommy bike in the anime. <laughs> it's not exactly a racer type of bike. It's just just a mommy bike. So it's because he rode that, he was actually developing a good cadence, which is, you know, the way he would cycle, pedal by pedal by pedal. He actually got really good at it. He finds that out because he meets this other kid named Imaizumi, who ends up becoming his friend, and Imaizumi is actually a cyclist, and he is one day just practicing, uh, you know, getting some some bike riding in. And he runs into Onoda. Uh, Onoda is uh, trying to talk to him, like, hey, do you know, uh, do you like anime or something? And then he just ends up racing Imaizumi. But, uh, you know, before that, he meets Naruko, who is one of the other guys in the bicycle club. And they're just blown away by how well this kid can ride. Um... It's just something that, that they're caught off guard by. They see somebody in this mommy bike and he, he's able to ride it so well simply because of all that practice that he had. And it's just, it, it's just great because that's like the first three to five episodes. I think it's just like the first three episodes where he meets them. And, um, it's just, it's so cool. <laughs> I can't even like put everything into order. I don't want to talk about it. I'm just here to gush about it, really. <laughs> But, you know, ever since it came out, like, Yawamushi Pedal has always just been something that's that I've really, really liked. And it's been ongoing ever since, man. Like, almost every other season, you get episodes of Yawamushi Pedal. There's, like, four seasons out. I I'm amazed at how well it's, like, running. And I just watched the first two seasons... The first season, and then Grande Road, which is pretty much all Inner High. What the Inner High is, it's the biggest event for the cyclists in high school. You know, it's it's a course in Mount Fuji that they that they all ride around. I don't know if they they're gonna change it later on in the season. Like I said, I'm the first two seasons. I I I will find it crazy. I find it kind of boring if they just keep replaying at Mount Fuji. They're definitely going to remake the tracks. They have to. It just seemed like it would be so repetitive. Like, I was just amazed at how well they made a second season. You know, Grande Road was just, you know, I, I cannot believe that it was all just the inner high. I don't know how they stretched it out that long, but then again, it's anime, and you're, 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 you're always surprised at how well they could stretch these episodes out, right? But yeah, he joins the bicycle club because, you know, he made some friends. Naruko was in the cycling club. Maizumi's in the cycling club. They said you'd be good at it and you're going to have fun, you know. And that's that's the thing with Onoda. He has fun. He has genuine fun and love for riding a bike. And it all stemmed from, you know, wanting to go to Akihabara and, you know get into get his figurines and stuff and see all this otaku stuff that's really where the heart of his joy is and and throughout the whole series well the first two seasons anyway that's really what they sh they they stress and it's crazy cuz like it always comes back to that you know he faces so many obstacles and he finds ways to overcome them he learns episode after episode after episode, but yet the reason why he learns is because he's just 
full of passion. And that's just, like, that's the theme of the show, is the the fact that he's full with so much passion with with bike riding, what it meant to him, you know, to go to Akihabara, what it means to, to finally have people in his life, friends that he can talk to and, and have fun with, is what he wants, you know? And he obtains that in this bicycle club. He now has friends, and all he wants to do is just ride his bike with them. And it's just so genuine, it's so innocent and pure, the the feeling that you get when you're watching the show. And all you do is you want to cheer for Onoda, you want to cheer for his teammates. It's just It's just a very positive show. It really, really is. Very genuine and, and, and innocent. Like, some stuff, it does get a little dark, but not too much. Um, and it's just, it's amazing. It's amazing. But, like I said, uh, I've only seen the first two seasons. Uh, I saw the first season when it first aired, and I I started the second season when it came out. But I stopped watching it. Um, it's just one of those things that happens, you know. And um, I, I just stopped watching it. But the inner high, it's just it's it's not only that school that Onoda goes to. That's what's so beautiful about this show is that like okay, here's an introduction of this school, Sohoku, which is where Onoda's from. And you know, after a while, you start to meet the upperclassmen. You know, the captain as well. And you learn so much about them. The first two seasons are all, like, backstory and it's character development and a flashback galore. Like, it really, really is. And I'm very interest, interested to see what they're going to do with the next seasons because you're, gonna, you're probably going to introduce more characters, but we've already gotten some backstory on the people that we already know now. So it's very interesting to see what they're going to throw at, at us. Um, but, you know, the first two seasons is filled with, with learning about Imaizumi, Naruko, Onoda. Um, then you start learning about Makishima, who is one of the upperclassmen. And you learn about Tadokoro. You learn about uh, Kinjo, who's the captain. And and it's amazing because, like, you go through the training camp with them. And, and you start to, to find out a little bit more technically of what's involved with bike racing. Or road racing, as they like to call it in, in the show. And um, there's just, it, it, like, it just seems so bland, so generic, these these characters. But, like, whenever they start talking about their past, or whenever they start talking about, you know, how they got into bike riding, it's just, it blows your mind. Like, it really does, because it's something so simple. It's something not far-fetched, you know, like, like some of the... Some of the stuff that you see in shonen manga and shonen and shonen anime is that you see backstories about people, but it's usually like something tragic that happened, something that's you know very out, very out there, you know, something very exaggerated. But in Yawamushi Petal, it's a little bit more down to earth. Like for example, one of my favorite backstories is. Um, Shinkai. Shinkai from Hakane Academy. Hakane Academy is one of the other schools that you are introduced to probably like midway through the first season. And it's amazing because all the guys on that bicycle club are so freaking awesome. But one of my favorite backstories is Shinkai, who is a sprinter. A sprinter is someone who, you know, just... They're really good on flats. So if there's like no mountain range or anything like there's no climbing involved you know like steep hills or anything like that a flat is just flat road that's it and that's what he does he's a sprinter um they go all out to reach a new area quickly and they're the flashy group you know but this shinkai he cannot do a certain technique where you know he he likes to he likes to ride his bike to the right side of the road he doesn't want or or is it the left side 
I don't really remember, but he doesn't let people pass him. Um, he he cannot he cannot pass no it's the other way around he cannot pass anyone on their left side because he's traumatized by running over a rabbit. <laughs> it's crazy, right? He ran he ran over a rabbit, and that was the mom rabbit. And when he realized that he ran over the rabbit, he had to take care of the baby rabbit because he felt so bad. He felt so guilty. It just traumatized him. And, you know, like, that's freaking sad as hell. <laughs> Isn't it? When I, when, I, when, I, when I saw that, it was just like, what the hell? Like, it's not something that that's so far out of the way. You know, it's something that you could probably, that'll probably, that could happen to you. Could happen to you. So he's traumatized by that, and he, he cannot pass anyone onto the left side. He, he always has to, if he's racing against someone, he has to go through their right side. Just because the left side, he, he's traumatized by that. He, It's his weakness. And um, that's just, like, one of the better background stories. I mean, other characters have great background stories, like Midosuji. I really like his, who is from another school. He's from Kyoto Fushimi, I think. Is that what it is? Yep, Kyoto Fushimi. Midosuji. Crazy, crazy guy. Crazy, crazy characters in this show. Uh, they get away with, with a lot of stuff. Because, like, Midosuji is very exaggerated. The way he rides his bike. There's just some things in this show, also, that with bike riding, it kind of seems impossible. But, you know, you make sense of it. You know, they, they go a little bit of far off the edge, but you find a way to make sense of it. It's crazy. And Midosuji is just a perfect example of that. <laughs> He's crazy. Crazy, crazy guy. Um, but yeah, you know, you're learning about all these other schools. You, you get, you know... it's And these, these background stories, you know, aren't really long. It's just one episode, two episodes, and that's it. You know, but you learn a lot from these characters. It's it's ridiculous how you get so attached to them in in such a short amount of time. You know, like in, compared to One Piece, where it takes a while, a while to get attached to characters, because you know it's ten episodes, fifteen episodes, I mean, five to ten for like a flashback. You know, like it takes forever to conclude a story. Or like a flashback, you know? But in, in Yamamushi Pedal, it just happens so quickly. It's crazy. It's crazy how attached I got to every character. Almost every character. And I didn't realize that until right now. <laughs> you know, the aces, which are the captains, you know, most of the time. Kinjo, you kind of feel for him because, you know, he lost his race because of the ace or the captain of Hakane Academy. Uh, Fukutomi, he actually knocked him out. You know, he knocked him out because he was losing to him. Fukutomi just said, I'm gonna... Boom. It was just something that happened, and he felt so bad about it. The pride in him, the, the the respect that Fukutomi has for Kinjo is actually something that's very honorable. You know, he... He, he didn't let that... Like, he didn't let that guilt overcome him. And he said, you know what... I'm trying to not feel bad about what I did. I want you to race me at your best. And it's just, it's so cool. Like, it, it's just amazing. The interactions, the respect that Hakone has for Sohoku, and the respect Sohoku has for Hakone. It's it's amazing. I grew up loving sports, so I know I know all the intangibles, you know, of, of winning and, and, and being proud about winning and, and what it takes, the integrity, you know, all that stuff. All the stuff that I grew up learning about, and, and to see it in anime form, it's just amazing. It's absolutely amazing. <laughs> and, you know, hopefully I'll find another sport anime that I'll get into, but Yaomuji Pedal, man, I would say it's like top three anime of all time for me. I mean, it's One Piece, maybe Yaomuji Pedal. I still don't want to put Naruto down because, you know, as crazy as Naruto was, I would say that Naruto is still a really good series for me. Uh, it's just, you know, I, I can't really pick after One Piece. It's tough because there's Chrono Crusade that I really like. I like Goron Lagon. But Yawamushi Petal 
is in the discussion for sure for top three. I mean, it's just so good. It, it really is. It, it's it got all the elements that you would see in a shonen manga, a shonen anime. All the little things, all the intricacies, you know, the, the exaggeration, the, you know, the, the, the character development part, you know, and, and this show does a really good job of, of, of like, in a subtle way, throwing stuff in, throwing like, made up stuff, fantasy stuff. Like, for example, I can't really put it into words, but for example, um, one of the racers, his name is, uh, God, what's his name? Let's see. I am drawing a blank here on his name. <laughs> Manami. Manami Sangaku, who is a first year. He's just like Onoda, in a way. With the way he drives, the way he rides, the the show will, they'll animate wings on him. And it just looks so cool. Looks so cool that you'll see wings there. And, and like, with, uh, it's just the the exaggeration is amazing. I can't really put into words exactly how it looks, um, but it's perfect. It, it looks like you're watching mythical creatures. It looks like you're watching something made up, um, but they make sense of it, right? It's not something that actually exists. It's just something that that the writers use to kind of like to define something in that show, and and it's it's, it's so amazing. Can't really think of the word. Sorry, I'm drawing a blank. <laughs> so, we've talked about Hakane, we've talked about Kyoto Fushimi, Sohoku. I mean, where I am now, we're done with the inner eye. It's just amazing how it turned out, because... You know, when it comes to sports, I've always been the believer that, you know, the first years, the second years, it's, it's very hard to win at a young age. But, you know, this show, they said, you know what, we're going to make the young guys win. And, and the first years win the ultimate race. And it's just amazing. It's just amazing. Um, because, you know, it's it's possible for any outcome to be real. Because it's such a real show, you know. it's They're people, you know. And I'm not, I'm not big in slice of life anime. You know, I'm not big with, like, high school anime. You know, the, you know, the anime that take place in school and it's all that. And then, like, there's a bit of an infusion of something else. Uh, I'm not really that big into... Whenever I see multiple characters wearing a school uniform, it just kind of, you know, throw, it just douses the fire for me. Like, if I see that, like, like or in High School Host Club, I don't know why the fuck I just said that, but, like, a show like that would not... I would not want to watch that. Um, Clannad, I cannot watch Clannad simply because they're all wearing the same thing. Um, there's other shows too. I mean, there's so many, many shows like that, right? But I, I did like, um, I did like, oh my God, what's the name of the show? I'm trying to blink. Uh, welcome to the NHK. Welcome to the NHK. That was good. They weren't all wearing the same thing. Just, it hardly took place in school. So, you know, that's why I like that. But, um, but, but with Yawamushi Pedal, I mean, they go to school, but they ride bikes, and they're all wearing uniforms. But they just did such a good job of of the character development. It the, uh, the characters really define the show. It's very less about the bicycle stuff, but man, character development just up there, man. Like, top tier, best in the business. Like, it really is. Some of the best character development you'll ever see. But, if there's one thing that I could take away from Yamamushi Pedal that I really, really love, one of the one things that just... The thing that I love the most about Yamamushi Pedal and why I keep watching it, is it's inspirational. It really, really is. It's very, very inspirational. It's an underdog story. You know, it really is. Um, here's a kid that had zero training, like something technical. Um, he wasn't really a bicyclist. He was just a kid who wanted to love people, wants to talk to people, wants to have fun with people, you know? And I think that's what we should all take away from life sometimes, is 
There's a lot of stuff that we're going to do for money. There's a lot of stuff that we need to do in order to be successful, in order to have a good life. But we got to remember, you know, the stuff that we love to do, it's not always about the end result. It's not always about getting to the destination. You know, it's about the, here's something you love. Can you remember that you love it? Can you continue to do it while still loving it? And I think that's that's the number one thing that I love about the show is that, you know, if I have a job, if I have a career that I like, not just because of the money, but, you know, like, I need to love to do it every day. I need to love it. I need to remember that there's other people that will love it. I need to love it with them. Love is what's going to make it happen. Love is what's going to continue to make it happen. And that's the thing with Onoda, you know. He continues to get better, and he only wants to get better because he wants to keep riding his bike with his friends. He wants to just be in their company. And that's why he can't help but smile when he climbs. You know, a climber is someone who's very, very good at at just riding through mountains, riding through hilltops, you know. And that's what he is. He's... he. The the thing that made him very unique is that he's one of the only climbers that you'll ever see smile while climbing, you know, because most of the people who climb on a bike are very tired, they hate it, it's very tough to do, but with Onoda, he loves it, and it's it's such an amazing thing. It makes you pull for him, and, you know, it's just... It's a very beautiful story. But yeah, I don't know what else to say. If, if there's an anime that you're in the mood for, I recommend Yamamushi Pedal. It's new. You know, when I saw it, it was something new, something I didn't think I'd like, something that I didn't see myself liking. But I gave it a shot, and it was... It It just... The rest is history. It... it it captivated me after the first episode. One thing I didn't even mention here. The soundtrack. Oh, boy. Oh, God. The soundtrack is amazing. It is so amazing. It is the second best thing about this show. <laughs> the message, or the, or the characters, and then the music. I mean, the music is just so good. And the animation is just... Everything about this show is amazing. I can't really give you one bad thing about this show. I can't. I can't. It's it's a very good show. And I don't know why it hasn't been dubbed. Maybe because it won't translate as well. But it needs to be dubbed. Ah, oh, Yamamushi Pedal. I would say second favorite anime, maybe third. It depends what kind of day I'm having. But it's so good. Um, give it a shot if you haven't. It's It's definitely worth a watch. Uh, but that's going to do it for me. Thank you for listening to this weird talk. <laughs> weird, weird talk, huh? Yeah, Mushi Pedal. Go watch it. Or go ride a bike. Whatever you want to do. <laughs> Bye-bye. Have a wonderful day.